Mr. D K Shiv Kumar has uh, made the Congress Party stand clear on banning the Bajrang Dal. He says that they indulge in moral policing, violate law and order, adding that Congress Party wants to maintain peace in the society. That's what uh, Mr. D K Shiv Kumar is saying. Let's listen. मोरल पोजिशन आ विचार ना स्वल्प गौरव नम चिंत नम नम लाइन ऐन अद्वान सर ओद ना ना सर भाला प्रोवोक्टी मीडिया दुडमता जन के अर्थ आगे नम्बे ना वनमन बी रामन ते दशरथ महाराज देवस्थान रामन पंट आंजने देवस्थान बंद नम रोड बंद नोड़बी एल कड़े आंजने याके आंजने सेवक नावे आंजने तोर्बी नावे आंजने तोर्बीव सूम्ह आंजने सेको बजरंग दड़ो अद्रे बजरंगी बेरे आंजने बेरे आगे बेरे The Bajrang Dal would be banned like PFI has been banned. That's the parallel that the Congress Party has come up with. And uh, in the in the face of repeated attacks that have come in from the uh, from the BJP against the Congress Party, saying that it's a false equivalence which has been drawn, you have Mr. D K Shiv Kumar, the tall leader of the Congress Party, saying that Bajrang Dal is an outfit which is known to morally police people on the streets. This is also an outfit which is known to create law and order problem. and because they want a peaceful society they will go ahead and ban it my colleague akshara with us on the broadcast akshara what did mr dk shivkumar had to say apart from the fact that he spoke about moral policing and other issues how is the congress party defending the babs coming in from the bjp well you see whenever such issues came up even before when malikar singh kurge's personal jive issue came up uh, the state uh, leadership of the congress here made sure that they will divert this uh, particular discussion from all the other issues to the main issue that is uh, uh, the unemployment inflation and corruption charges uh, even right now dk shiv kumar who defended uh, this move particular move stating that you know they are involved in uh, moral policing and in many other activities that violates law and order on the other hand people also must look at the other issues such as what, what are The, the state, uh, the BJP leadership, has given to the people here of Karnataka because the people here face many problems in rural Karnataka as well. There are lack of. transport facilities infrastructural facilities the development work that needs to be taken care of yes the congress leadership is trying to gather the control the damage which could take place because of all the other issues of the personal child or banning of bajrang dal and shift the focus towards other issues which are more important so that's what we are hearing from dk shukumar apart from defending his move that bajrang dal will be banned and beat any other organization that disturbs the peace and harmony in the society will be banned so congress has made its stand clear on this issue Akshara getting us all the details and let's also dip into what Prime Minister Modi earlier said he spoke on this issue of banning of Bajrang Dal that the Congress party has spoken of in its manifesto listen in what the prime minister said jisko marzi pade wo gaali de raha hai kya karnataka mein koi bhi gaali sanskriti ko swikar karta hai kya koi kisi ko gaali bole wo pasand karta hai kya छोटे व्यक्ति को भी कोई गाली बोलेगा तो अच्छा लगता है क्या क्या कर्नाटक गाली देने वालों को कभी माफ करता है क्या कभी करता है क्या इस बार क्या करोगे सजा करोगे गाली देने वालों को सजा करोगे बराबर जम करके सजा करोगे जब पोलिंग बूथ में बटन दबाओ ना तब जाए बजरंग बली बोल करके सजा दे देना इनको My colleague Ritu is also joining us on the broadcast. Ritu, how much of this issue is resonating on the ground, the Bajrang Bali issue, and you know, Jai Bajrang Bali? That's what uh, yesterday was said. That Congress Party now fears the slogan as well. Jai Shri Ram. Religious overtones have clearly entered in the last leg of campaigning. Tell us what is the sense you're picking up from the ground. Firstly, the big statement coming out from Prime Minister Narendra Modi while he is in the Uttar Kannada region of the, uh, you know, the coastal belt of Karnataka, where he is saying that anyone who is really going to go for the voting should ensure that you know he is uh, he or she is in fact chatting. Uh, 
Jai Bajrang Dal, the chant in fact. So that's a big statement coming out from Prime Minister Narendra Modi. But on the other hand, you see that the Prime Minister is in the Uttar Kannada where we did a ground report trying to understand that what are the sentiments of the people, what really that the voters need this point in, at this point in time. Because the coastal belt of Karnataka, we did see that how many of communal violences had occurred and how is that the Hindutva uh, ideology plays an uh, important role there and again a stronghold of the BJP as well. So while trying to understand what really matters for the voters, you see this time that in the uh, uh, Uttar Kannada, especially in that region particularly, that the people really are looking for a change right now because they complain about the lack of infrastructure, there's no proper development that had taken uh, place and however that they are also deprived of the basic amenities as well. So of course that you know the people say that this time they need a change in the party and the, in the leader as well. So uh, especially about the public representative that they are looking forward to that anyone who will give them all that they need is one that they are looking for, uh, forward uh, you know, looking for. But however now the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's statement coming out is an important point here again because we are seeing that how the, the Congress and BJP is at the loggerhead and on the other hand the JDS leader Kumar Swami goes on to say that what is the use of banning in the Bajrang Dal because it is most of them who are part of this organization comes from a, a backward community and also that they are very poor and innocent youths are being all right Ritu, uh, and uh, you know as you get us all those details we are right now are cutting across to a roadshow of Mr. JP Nadda